Our top story tonight is back to school. Many students will be back in the classroom in nearly two weeks. Tonight, Lumberton ISD is preparing for a fall semester that will look very different from years past. The district has adopted a four day hybrid school year. 12 News reporter Kayla Chote spoke with Superintendent Dr. Tony Tipton today and Kayla. He says this is already proving to be a game changer for the district. That's right, Brenda. The fall semester will look a lot different to help with staffing shortages. Lumberton School Board voted to adopt a four day hybrid school year. And so far, Superintendent Dr. Tempton says they're back on track to have a successful year. The minute that that passed, uh, we began getting uh, more applicants for jobs than we've had in years. Since 2020, Lumberton ISD Superintendent Dr. Tony Tipton has been on a mission to recruit and retain qualified teachers. Not only a teacher shortage, but there's a staff shortage. You know, there's a shortage of bus drivers. There is a shortage of, of counselors. This staffing shortage led Lumberton School Board to vote to switch to a hybrid schedule. Five days a week, all the way through September, and then starting in October, we'll go the four day weeks all the way through the end of March. Then we'll go back to fives in April and May. Kazia Herndon is an incoming junior at Lumberton High. She thinks this change will really make a difference. I think for sure. I think the teachers really need a break. Uh, I know that at Lumberton, a lot of times we would have to go sit in the cafeteria because there was no subs or like we had a lot of teachers who had to be absent a lot. So I think it'll be really good for the school district. The school year is nearly two weeks away and already more educators are signing on to teach at Lumberton. You know, sometimes for jobs, we might have one applicant or none. This year in those cases, even in the hard to fill areas, we were getting five, six, seven, 10, 15 applicants. Overall, Herndon hopes the four day week schedule will allow students and teachers to get ahead. Maybe try to study and have more time to get prepared for the school week rather than like going through the weekend and having fun and getting thrown back into school. So I think it'll be good. Dr. Tipton says this year will be a trial period. District officials will see what works and what doesn't work to help determine if this hybrid schedule should be kept moving forward. In studio, Kayla Shote, 12 News.